Hello, everybody. <laughs> I, I don't really know who everybody is, but hello all the same. So I was challenged by a good friend of mine to do an art challenge. And it's the three color challenge. And I've looked up on YouTube, like a three marker challenge and, and stuff like that. And I found that uh, a lot of people, what they did is they picked their three colors at random and they drew a picture, but I thought that was cheating. And so I already had a picture. And as you can see, like I have like some notes up at the top here. And so I already knew what I wanted to kind of do, but it's a random color. So here are some random colors. <laughs> I found this website where you can just generate a whole bunch of just random colors. And I have no control over what is actually picked. So let me try to pick some colors here. These are just with three random things. So first we have purple. Now we have green and a goldeny brown color. <laughs> so I, I put the colors up at the top here and I don't really know what to do and I will say that I did previously record this and it it baffled me on on these three colors because I mean what exactly do you do with just three colors when, I mean, especially when you have like a person a person you, they have you know so many depths of layers and and whatnot and so I just decided, all right, I'm just going to block out these colors. You know, uh, the goldeny brown is, of course, going to be a skin tone. It is not the skin tone that I would use ever, but but it is going to be a skin tone today. And I decided that, you know, green for the hair and for the lips, just to give it a little bit of, you know, um, eccentricity. And, you know, who doesn't want green lips? It, red just means stop. Green means go. So she's ready to to make out with people. <laughs> uh, the purple, I thought, would be a nice little color for the dress. Now, I did say that this challenge completely baffled me. And you will see that I make a ton of mistakes. And when I was challenged to do this, I didn't think that it was going to be that hard. And I was just like, okay, I'll just, I'll do it. You know, it'll be a, an easy little thing. And it definitely hasn't been. But in the process of making this video, because he wanted me to make a video of it to show my process and, and whatnot. And in the making of it, I, I recorded and I was like, okay. Well, it, it's kind of boring, and so now I need to add an intro. <laughs> so then I made an intro. Then I was like, well, now I have to make an outro. <laughs> so at the end of this, you'll make an outro, and uh, or you'll see an out outro. And all throughout this, I was like, well, now I need music, <laughs> and I need this, and I need commentary. So now it's become a thing. It has definitely become a thing, and it's on YouTube, and then I was like, well, if it's going to be on YouTube, then I have to make channel art, and, you know, a header, and a avatar thumbnail-y thing, and <laughs> it, it definitely became more than just a three-color challenge. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm not adding white, and so do not get me on that. This right here is just erasing. I am just erasing the color that I already put in to add highlights because there was no way that I would be able to add a highlight to the picture. So I decided to just kind of erase it. And later on, speaking of cheating <laughs> with, you know, erasing and whatnot, with the program that I use, what you can do is you can add different modes, and you can kind of add layering on top of the, the color that you are putting. 
I'm using the same exact color. And you'll see very, very quickly that I draw on the white and then I go over the purple and it changes to a different color. Now in the YouTube videos that I watched of the three marker challenge, in the markers what you can do is you can layer the colors. And so if you want a lighter tone, a darker tone, stuff like that, you just, you know, draw over it and you see here very, very quickly, but it is the same exact purple that I used for everything else, the same exact green and same exact skin tone. It's it's just um, a different mode of layering on top. So I didn't think that that was cheating, but I couldn't just leave it as it was because it had no depth to it. It just looked very bland. So with the skin tone, it was the same thing. And I got kind of lazy and was like, I'm not going inside of the lines. <laughs> I'll, I'll correct it later. Because this, this challenge, I, I was just, I was done and over with it. <laughs> because I had no idea what to do. And it is not my favorite piece of art that I've done. But that's why I guess it's a challenge. Now, I added a background to this. Um, cause on the white, it just looked boring. And I thought that I was done. And then I was like, no, I need to add more shading to the dress and to the face and all this other stuff. And I even added like little lines for the lips and hair and all this other stuff. And I decided I didn't like that. And so I erased it. So that's not in the final picture. But yeah, so here's some more shading, more shading. I love blending. Blending. Blending is one of my favorite things to do. It's because you can just make random lines and just push them into the direction that you want it to go. And it adds a very soft little feel to um, the lines and the light and lighting. But yeah, so this is pretty much... I'm going to add a little bit of white in here and not like it. And then <laughs> add a little bit more. But yeah, this is pretty much the finished product here. Now, if you have any more challenges, please don't send them my way because I don't like them. But if you do, I'll probably do them regardless because it was fun. It was challenging. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed.